streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at Noon. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us on this Monday. I'm Jordan Fremstead. In eastern Canada, about a half a million people were left without power after Fiona landed as a powerful post-tropical cyclone on Saturday. It's that same storm that hit Puerto Rico a week ago. And as Bradley Blackburn reports, the state of Florida is preparing for the threat of another gathering storm. When it slammed into Canada Saturday, Fiona was no longer a hurricane, but it still packed a punch. Storm surge swept homes into the sea and forced many families to evacuate. There are hundreds of people displaced right now. So the first step that's occurring is emergency shelter for those residents who are without a home. The storm washed out roads and toppled trees and power lines, leaving 80% of residents in Nova Scotia without electricity. There are live wires on some of these poles. We do not need people out just cruising around the streets. In the Caribbean, recovery is still underway after Fiona struck last week. A team of 75 state troopers from New Jersey headed to Puerto Rico Saturday to assist with relief efforts. More than half of the island is still without power. And now Tropical Storm Ian is gathering strength with Florida in its sights next week. Already, people are stocking up on bottled water, lining up for gas, and filling up sandbags. Hoping that it doesn't happen, but I've uh, been through several. So I'm just trying to get prepared ahead of time. The National Hurricane Center says Ian could strengthen into a major hurricane, threatening western Florida and the Panhandle by the middle of next week. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has expanded a state of emergency to cover the entire state of Florida. He has also activated the Florida National Guard. California firefighters are closing in on the mosquito fires ravaging the northern part of the state. Officials reported on Sunday that about 85% of those fires have been contained. That's more than a 20% jump in just the past couple of days, which is a big step for firefighter crews as the fire continues to be contained. Area schools are expected to reopen as well. Up to a nice start here this afternoon. Still a little bit cool out there as what we are having this morning continues into uh, this afternoon as far as those cooler temperatures go. Let's get a quick check, uh, quick check now on your temperatures. It's 57 degrees uh, in Winona and 56 in Eau Claire. 61 the warm spot currently though in La Crosse and 54 the temperature right now in Sparta. City Cam 8 showing those fair weather cumulus clouds here across the area and we expect that trend to continue with uh, some more clouds possibly developing later in the day and we're kind of seeing some of that uh, on the satellite picture with those trends with developing more cloud cover, especially across our central and eastern zones here today. So we can expect after the clouds begin to increase some, they will begin to decrease later into the afternoon and also especially as we head into this evening and tonight, looking at a nice clear night uh, with temperatures mainly into the 50s. Also a bit of a breeze here to work with today and we'll talk about uh, what the wind speeds could be like tomorrow as well. Plus Jordan, I do have the latest information on Hurricane Ian as it heads towards Florida. All right, we're looking forward to that. Thanks yep. a lot, Derek. Workplace discrimination is growing. Recent AARP research shows 62% of workers over the age of 50 report seeing or experiencing discrimination when at work. Experts say the issue is growing more prevalent since the COVID-19 pandemic, despite a clear lack of awareness. It is one of those areas of discrimination that seems sadly all too common and acceptable relative to other forms of discrimination out there. And it is just as wrong and just as important for us to be vigilant about it. AARP says older workers should know their rights. We have more information for you at News8000.com. 9,400 migrants have arrived in D.C. over the past five months, many needing food, baby formula, a place to sleep, and housing. The city council passed legislation this week to create the Office of Migrant Services, allowing the mayor $10 million in emergency contingency funds to provide asylum seekers a temporary, with temporary housing, health care, and other services like food and education. The council promised to be back to work next month on long-term solutions.
With fall temperatures in the air, Americans are bracing for higher home heating bills. Families are expected to pay an average of 17% more for home heat this coming season. Heating oil is expected to increase nearly 13% for an average cost of more than $2,100 this winter. Electric heat is expected to see a 7% increase. The Biden administration is asking Congress for additional funding to help low-income families stay warm this winter season. Bad news for brewers, and we don't mean the baseball team. A beer shortage could be on the horizon. A shortage of aluminum cans and carbon dioxide could be the next supply chain issue to vex American consumers. Brewers are also pointing to a rising price of transportation and malted barley and hops that impact their bottom line. Beer prices are up 5% so far this year. Industry experts aren't sure that will necessarily result in shortages, but variety and selection could be limited. Coming up here on News 8 Now at noon, monkeypox cases are increasing in Wisconsin, but you might already be protected. More on how a childhood vaccine may provide some immunity after the break. The benefits at Century Foods International are incredible. I have insurance, 401k, I'm looking at tuition assistance to help further my education. I don't think anybody in the area can match it. Have you ever experienced this view? Hi, Andrew Larson here. With Gutter Shutter, you'll never have to experience it again. Please give up this dangerous chore and protect your home's foundation with Gutter Shutter, the strongest, most durable, maintenance-free gutter on the market. Over the past 15 years, my team has installed thousands of maintenance-free gutter systems across South Central Wisconsin. We'd love to come out and show you what Gutter Shutter can do for you and your home, but most importantly, keep you safe and off that ladder. So call today for a free estimate. Under Governor Evers, hardworking Wisconsin families are being left behind. We're paying more for food, gas, everything. And Tony Evers tried to make us pay even more. A 20% gas tax increase, doubling the tax on home heating bills. And while Evers puts the squeeze on us, he wanted to give taxpayer-funded benefits to people who refuse to work. He even opposes drug testing welfare recipients. Tony Evers is leaving hardworking Wisconsin families behind. For a luxurious bathing experience, choose the name you know and trust, Mad City Baths, Wisconsin's award-winning number one remodeler. Family owned and operated, we are your trusted local source for custom baths, showers, and walk-in tubs. Installed in as little as one day, backed with a double lifetime labor warranty. Brighten up your bathroom, choose Arctic ice walls with hopscotch impressions, or Platino granite flagstone walls with diamond accents. The only limitation is your imagination. Plus, it's our Upgrade Now Pay Later event to receive 24 months no payments and no interest. Senior and military discounts. Get a $250 Mad City gift card with bath or shower purchase. Use it as an instant discount or for future home improvements. Plus, call during this program and save more with half off labor. From La Crosse, Eau Claire, and Western Wisconsin, call 715-941-1303. That's 715-941-1303. I've been at Century Foods for 12 years, and the thing I like the most about it is the advancement opportunity. This is a company that proudly promotes from within, and we're always looking for future leaders. A virus is spreading that can kill dogs. Veterinarians are still working to determine what caused a recent outbreak of what they call parvovirus. There haven't been any reported cases in Wisconsin, but local veterinarians say owners should still take precautions. Parvovirus is highly contagious. It spreads through dog feces and in some cases can be deadly. But according to the Onalaska Animal Hospital, it is preventable. It actually is easily preventable through vaccinations, um, keeping your pet up to date on, you know, getting vac vaccinated. Dogs should receive the Parvo vaccine as puppies. You can check with your vet to make sure your dog is up to date. At least 70 Wisconsinites have been diagnosed with monkeypox, and that's according to the latest update from the Wisconsin Department of Health Services. Since May of this year, monkeypox has been spreading from person to person in countries where the virus is usually not found, including here in the U.S. 
Monkeypox virus is from the same family of viruses as the smallpox virus. And if you've received a smallpox vaccine, researchers say you already have some protection. There is a possibility uh, that the childhood vaccine uh, for smallpox will provide cross immunity or protection against monkeypox, uh, but we don't know how much. Symptoms of monkeypox include an unexplained rash that develops into hard, round fluid or pus-filled skin lesions. The month of September is National Atrial Fibrillation Awareness Month, otherwise known as AFib, and Mayo Clinic Health System is highlighting a relatively new procedure to reduce the risk of stroke in patients who have AFib. During a trial, or during AFib, I should say, the heart is beating irregularly and there is an increased risk of blood clots inside the heart. If that clot breaks loose, there is a risk of stroke. The Watchman device is inserted into the heart and blocks off the area where those clots can form. It's designed to uh, plug off one of the structures called the left atrial appendage. Left atrial appendage is, uh, is like a small sac attached to the left atrium. And that's where the uh, atrial fibrillation usually comes from. And that's where the blood clots are usually come from. The device can be inserted during a same-day procedure and is not considered a high-risk surgery. As we send you to break, here is a live look at the New York Stock Exchange, and stay with us. Medical News is next. If you can hear this, you're losing energy. If you're losing energy, you're losing money. We can help. Contact River Valley Remodelers today. Our windows have been recognized as the most efficient of Energy Star 2022. They come in many styles and fade resistant colors. Our design specialists can help you pick out the right style for your home. The best way to start your project is to contact us. For a limited time, buy three windows, get one free. River Valley Remodelers. Improve your home, build our community. Get ready for the Fall Gift and Craft Show at the Onalaska Omni Center. Shop more than 100 of the best gift and craft vendors on October 8th and 9th. Parking and entry is free, but we are accepting non-perishable food donations. Don't miss the Fall Gift and Craft Show. How would you like to convert your old sit-down bathtub into a modern, spacious walk-in shower? It's more affordable than you may think when you call Mad City Baths. Get a gorgeous, easy-access walk-in shower installed in your existing tub space or choose a barrier-free shower base for better accessibility. Customize with grab bars, shelves, handhelds, and more. The best part? We install in as little as one day. It's a great time to call during our Upgrade Now Pay Later event. Receive 24 months, no payments and no interest, senior and military discounts. And for a limited time, purchase a new bath or shower and receive a $250 Mad City gift card. Use it as an instant discount or apply it to future home improvements. And be sure you call during this program to get extra savings with half off labor. From La Crosse, Eau Claire, and Western Wisconsin, call 715 941 1303. That's 715 941 1303. We love our pets, but we don't always love their hair, which is why we made Bounce Pet Hair and Lint Guard. With three times the pet hair fighting ingredients, just one sheet helps remove pet hair from your clothes. Looking good starts in the dryer with Bounce Pet. Thank you for watching News 8 Now, our community, your station. Healthcare providers say that the United States is facing a crisis in maternal and prenatal care. Advocates say the need has only grown since the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. Natalie Brand has more on the push for more support for mothers, including birth centers and midwives. Camry Gibson is adjusting to life as a new mom. Her son, Zaire, is just a few weeks old. Trying to get him to differentiate between his night and days. Gibson um, lives in rural Mississippi, where thinking, she had to drive about an hour and a half to receive prenatal care. When I went into labor, they were in a state of panic because it took me so long to get there. It's estimated around 7 million women in the U.S. live in maternity care deserts, where no hospital or provider offers obstetric services or maternity care is limited, according to the March of Dimes. And what does that turn into? Skyrocketing rates in the United States for infant and maternal mortality. 60% of those deaths 
are absolutely preventable. Assistant Speaker Catherine Clark of Massachusetts has introduced bipartisan legislation called the Babies Act, which would expand access to birth centers and midwives for Medicaid recipients. Getty Israel founded the nonprofit Sisters in Birth in Jackson, Mississippi, to try and address the grave need in her state. Birth disparities here are the highest uh, in the nation. Israel is now trying to raise funds to also build a freestanding birth center where nurse midwives can deliver babies. We've had women die trying to get to a hospital because hospitals are not in the zip codes where they live. We've had women to have babies in their cars. Women have babies at home because they could not get to a hospital. There's just so much that can go wrong. Gibson you know, knows pregnancy and childbirth can be stressful enough. She says finding care shouldn't be. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, Washington. We will send you to break with a live look through City Cam 8. It's a little deceiving. The sunshine is out, but it's a little brisk outside. Derek has your forecast next. If cleaning your old bath or shower is backbreaking work and you're tired of unsightly spots and stained grout, it's time to call Mad City Baths. All of our baths and showers are infused with microban antimicrobial protection, so they remain clean, fresh, and free of mold and mildew. Our installers are experts in their field and pay close attention to detail, performing a full job site cleanup. Just another reason homeowners love Mad City Baths. We install in as little as one day, but time's running out to call. It's our Upgrade Now Pay Later event. Receive 24 months, no payments and no interest, senior and military discounts, and receive a $250 Mad City gift card with bath or shower purchase. Use it as an instant discount or for future home improvements. And last chance to call during this program for additional savings with half off labor. From La Crosse, Eau Claire, and Western Wisconsin, call 715-941-1303. That's 715-941-1303. The guy behind me couldn't stop in time. Ran right into my bike. I wanted to know what my case was really worth. I knew I had only one opportunity to get all the money I deserved. That's why I called Hupy and Abraham. They got me way more than I expected. If you were injured in a motorcycle accident, don't take a chance on your future. Put the experience and knowledge of Hupy and Abraham on your side. They know motorcycle law. A good lawyer shouldn't cost you more. They should get you more. Call Hupy and Abraham and tell them you mean business. Ron Johnson's at it again. Lying about my taxes. Let's be clear, my taxes are paid in full, but there were times I was getting by on peanut butter sandwiches. And that's why I support a tax cut for the middle class. Put more money in your pockets, because I know how hard you work. But Johnson, he used a sentence seed to write a loophole that gave huge tax cuts to himself and his biggest donors, leaving us with crumbs. And that's how we get left behind. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. CityCam 8 is brought to you by The Board Store. Ever wonder what a bath remodel would do for your soul? Rejoice! The Board Store can help you find that joy with a new tub or shower or a complete bath remodel. Call or visit today. A nice uh, field of cumulus clouds, as you can see there from City Cam 8. So we're seeing a little bit of more moisture in the air to allow some of those clouds to develop. And we may see some more cloud development later in the day before they begin to clear out by this evening. 61 degrees, now mostly cloudy at the airport. Northwest winds at around 17. Our river stage is at 4.99 feet. And temperatures across the upper Midwest here this afternoon, mainly in those 50s and 60s. We're actually seeing 61 uh, currently being measured in La Crosse, but a little bit cooler in Eau Claire at 56 degrees. Now 54 in Sparta and 55 down south in Viroqua. My forecast highs today across the area will rise into those upper 50s to low 60s with 58 today in Eau Claire and 62 degrees this afternoon in La Crosse. We are seeing those clouds being picked up not just from our city cam, but also on the satellite den radar picture. Widening out the view, though, I do want to show you some interesting factors. There's a very strong upper level jet stream on top of us right now. Still expected to build across the Cooley region. So not only are we still getting a bit of dry air behind this upper level feature back towards the east, but this very strong jet stream building on top of us may allow for some breezy conditions to kind of mix down to the surface throughout the day today around 15 to 20 miles an hour and then uh, begin to settle down here as we head into this evening. Now by tomorrow, the winds are not expected to be uh, as strong by any means, only about five to 10 miles per hour at best. So those cloudy skies may continue here to about three o'clock 
then turning partly cloudy by 5, so you start to see the clouds decrease by that point, and then by 7, mostly clear, 57 degrees by that by that point. All right, so we'll take you into sky track. You can see those clouds moving through the Cooley region. By about 9 p.m., we can expect those, those skies to begin to clear out, and then heading into the day tomorrow, we'll get that north, north, of the, north uh, to northwesterly wind, some clouds here across the eastern portions of our viewing area, and then clearing out again as we head into the day tomorrow. By Wednesday, high pressure builds in at the surface, as you can see with that clock clockwise wind arrow effect there and we'll be looking at clear skies as we head towards midweek. So for tonight, 40 degrees, mostly clear north northwest winds light at 5 to 10 and then for tomorrow, 61, mostly sunny and cool north northwest winds at around 10 to 15 miles an hour. Before we get to the eight day forecast, I just want to give you a quick uh, update here on the tropics, more specifically Hurricane uh, Ian about a category one hurricane with 80 mile an hour winds northwest moving toward the northwest at 13. It's about 100 miles west of Grand Cayman. You can actually see the rain bands now beginning to spread across Cuba. Lots of heavy rain and significant wind is expected here, especially on the western tip of Cuba as Ian becomes a category two hurricane by tonight with 105 mile an hour winds and then crossing Cuba moving into the Gulf of Mexico by tomorrow morning with strengthening winds up to 120 miles an hour. That will make Ian a category three. Not done strengthening yet, though, up to a Category 4 by 8 p.m. tomorrow while just off the coast of Florida. This is where the forecast gets tricky. A lot of the models are kind of slowing this thing down. The steering currents become slow and weak, and we could have a major hurricane just off the coast of Tampa, off the coast of the west coast of Florida, dumping not only rain, but storm surge and also lots of flooding here. So something to keep our eyes on by midweek before possibly coming just north of Tampa as a category two with 105 mile per hour winds by the end of the work week here on Thursday. And then of course weakening as it moves inland across Georgia, dumping plenty of heavy rain across the southeast. Next eight days show us that we will be looking at temperatures here into the 60s, low 70s, and it looks like mostly sunny and overall dry conditions here for us to work with Jordan before we warm up into the 70s by this weekend. Uh, we'll keep an eye on Florida. Definitely. Right. Thanks a lot, Derek. After the break, Hollywood movies are becoming reality. NASA's latest mission that aims to protect humankind in the future. Meet Brad Path. He never had a job outside of politics. Seriously, he hung around long enough to climb that political ladder. He'll never fix Washington. You won't even try. Me, I spent 26 years fighting for our country. I served as a Navy SEAL, and I know how to get things done. I'm Derek Van Orden, and I approve this message. Let's try something different. Let's change the people we're sending to DC. Chart Industries, who are we? We are your history. With over 70 years serving our city, our state, and our planet. We are your workforce, employing over 300 people with a stable income and rewarding careers. We are your community, proud to be part of the Cooley region, supporting the causes that matter to you. We are Chart Industries, building a better tomorrow together. Career opportunities available, chartindustries.com. Get 11% off everything to make your home more efficient. Seal off and fill all gaps with great stuff. Expanding spray foam. It quickly minimizes drafts and bonds to most surfaces. Get a can for just $6.90 after 11% off. Menards carries a great selection of Richmond water heaters in stock to ensure that you have hot water when you need it. With high efficiency and tankless models to choose from, you're sure to find your perfect fit. Get 11% off everything at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Joe Biden on Medicare for All. It's going to raise taxes on middle class people. Medicare for All would double your income taxes, ban employer provided and union health plans, and bankrupt Medicare for seniors. Mandela Barnes still supports Bernie Sanders' socialist takeover of your health care. Medicare for All is the easiest way to get us to universal health care. Mandela Barnes, more liberal than Joe Biden, way too liberal for Wisconsin. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Thank you for watching News 8 Now, our community, your station. What we've only seen in movies could happen tonight. For the first time in history, NASA will attempt to slam a spaceship into an asteroid nearly 7 million miles away. 
to change its course. The Dart spacecraft is about the size of a vending machine and will be flying 14,000 miles an hour when it slams into Dimorphos, a small moon orbiting that asteroid. Scientists say they know that they don't know of any asteroids that will impact Earth in the next century, but they say this mission will better prepare mankind to save the world from unknown threats. Gets your heart pumping a little bit. We'll be right back with a final look at your forecast. We hope you can stay with us. I've been telling people how easy energy efficient replacement windows are to clean for so long, I forgot that some people may not know. New double hung windows do not need a storm window, operate smoothly and tilt in for easy cleaning. Sliders lift out for easy cleaning and modern casement hardware allows you an easy reach to wash the exterior. No ladders required. Enjoy the beauty, comfort and convenience of our superior quality replacement windows. The Board Store, 524 Copeland Avenue, La Crosse, theboardstoreonline.com or call 608-782-8877. I'm Dave Estenson, and I've been a lot of things. Law enforcement officer, long haul trucker, small businessman, school board member, and a bull rider. I got tired of saying someone should do something. So I'm running for state senate to back the badge and help stop crime, fix our roads and the supply chain, bring common sense back to our schools, and stop the bull. Because I quit that a long time ago. I'm Dave Estenson, and I'd appreciate your vote. Is that I don't belong to you and you don't belong to me. Hey, freedom, freedom, freedom doesn't wait. Lieb, the original Eau de Parfum and the new Parfum Yves Saint Laurent. When we got pregnant with Lizzie, we were so excited. So when the complications started, it was really scary. We never considered ending the pregnancy, but those are the kinds of decisions only a family can make. But Derek Van Orden wants the government to do it, banning all abortions, even when a woman's life is at risk. I'm Betty. I'm Lizzie. And I'm Brad Paff. I approve this message because I'll never stop fighting for your right to choose. Get ready for the Fall Gift and Craft Show at the Onalaska Omni Center. Shop more than 100 of the best gift and craft vendors on October 8th and 9th. Parking and entry is free, but we are accepting non-perishable food donations. Don't miss the Fall Gift and Craft Show. We'll be looking at some breezy conditions and cool conditions throughout the day, but as we head into the day tomorrow, those breezes kind of settle down, looking mostly sunny. Temperatures in the low 60s through Wednesday. Highs warming up into the low 70s by Friday and into the weekend. Thanks a lot, Derek, and thank you so much for your time this afternoon. We appreciate it, as always. We'll see you right back here tonight at 5 o'clock. Have a great day.